Hello, my name is Tim Brady and I'm the product manager for Punch Laser Combination Machines here at Amata America. In this video, I'm going to compare two methods of manufacturing a simple sheet metal part utilizing progressive stamping presses versus a CNC turret or punch press combination machine. This case study is mainly aimed at manufacturers involved in high volume stamping but who may have an interest in the short run versatility and just-in-time abilities of turret and punch laser combination machines. The part in question is an actual customer's part who presented it to Amada to see if it could be produced on a turret or punch laser combination machine. The challenge was on. Although the part is simple enough, the two large flanges, one curved and one straight, do approach the limits of what can be formed on a punch or punch laser combination machine. This photo shows how the part was produced with a nine-stage progressive stamping tool. After careful evaluation from Amata tooling experts, it was determined that a special dual-purpose forming tool could be devised which would be able to form both the curved flange and the straight flange. A picture of the tool is shown in this photo. So let's follow the process of how this part was made in a punch laser combination machine. First, the internal holes and profile of the part were created using both punching and laser cutting in the combo machine. It was decided, for the purposes of this case study, that a group of 10 parts would be punched, laser cut, and formed at one time, and then this mini nest would be dropped down the large work chute available on the machine. Two large tabs are used to hold the part in place while the forming operation is performed. Then the curved flange is formed by three successive hits using one side of the special forming tool. Each part is then moved over and the straight flange is formed using the opposite side of the tool. After the forming is completed, a small square punch is used to punch out the tabs holding the part in place, leaving a small micro joint on one edge of the part to hold it into the sheet. Finally, the group of 10 parts is cut out of the sheet and dropped through the work chute. Here we see how easy it is to remove the parts from the mini nest. In an actual production situation, it would be more efficient to fill a whole sheet with these parts rather than this group of 10 that we have done for this demonstration. Next, I'd like to do a simple cost comparison between the two methods of manufacturing this part. Starting with the cost of the tooling, as you can see here, the tooling is much less costly for the turret combo machine then for the stamping press, approximately $5,000 for the turret combo machine versus approximately $35,000 for the stamping press. Also, the ETA, that is, the time to design, manufacture the tooling, create a program, and basically bring the part into production, is much faster for the turret combo machine. Furthermore, any changes or modifications in the design of the part are easily accomplished with the turret combo machine. Assuming these parts are to be processed on large sheets, that is 4x8 or 5x10 sheets, we expect these parts to require more material on the turret combo machine due to the required spacing of the parts. This extra spacing between parts is required to allow clearance for the special forming tool. This is not typically the case when utilizing forming tools, but is unique to this particular application. I've included the cost of consumables such as electricity and gases in the material costs as well. This last line shows the expected production rate between the two methods of production. The two methods intersect at around 35,000 parts, where the turret combo machine levels off at about $1.50 a part, while the stamping press will continue to decline to around $0.50 cents a part for very high quantities. The next consideration is the time to produce these parts. The turret combo machine will take about 6 hours to produce 1,000 parts, compared to about 30 minutes for a stamping press. So it is unlikely that tying up the turret combo machine to make high quantities of parts would be practical. On the other hand, due to the quick setup aspect of a turret combo machine, producing parts in small quantities, say 500 to 2000 for just-in-time delivery could make the turret combo machine the perfect solution for some manufacturers. In fact, manufacturers often use turret combo machines to get a part into production rapidly while developing hard tooling for their stamping presses. The two methods of manufacturing can truly complement each other in the right environment. 
Please contact your Amato sales engineer if you would like more information on the capabilities of punch and punch laser combination machines, or if you'd like to arrange a machine demonstration or part feasibility study. In conclusion, I hope you found this information informative, and I thank you for your interest.